countries have become so many in the world that not everyone can go to the Olympics now, so you have to qualify. The relay, the relay team that we used to win all over the world, we have not been able to qualify since that format changed. It's been over 25 years, Ghana has not been able to qualify for the men's 4 by 100 meter relay. So our program targeted this Tokyo 2020, and we wanted to come up with a team that could qualify for the first time. Out of the seven athletes that can qualify Ghana, five of them are from our program, the two local boys and the three of them from out of the five here. Out of the five boys here, the second boy, Emmanuel Yaboa, last year in all of the junior colleges in America, he beat everyone in America, and he's the fastest man in America in all the junior colleges. Today, uh, I'm here to pay my dues to Ghana. <coughs> yes, because without Ghana, I'm nobody. I started athletics in 1984, and the one who helped me achieve my goal was the president now. Yes. Nana came, I remember, I remember Nana came to Kumasi to watch athletics and he, and he pointed out on me. Since that time, he was the one who bought my ticket to Germany. Wow. Yes. Yes. Because I know Nana loved athletics too much. So when I went to Germany, I said, no, I have to make sure I'll do something for Ghana. So I was, I, I was a professional athlete there. I've been running there for 10 years. I broke national records. I was having three national records, 100, 200, and four by one. But now I'm still holding two national records, 25 years. My two national records is up there. You're probably just names for them, but really, um, I'm very sensitive to the, the plea about doing something for past athletes, because I know how much glory, honor, renown you brought to our country because of your efforts. Nobody will ever forget the Commonwealth 4 by 100 meter gold effort that uh, my good friend Okoade and Mike Ahe and the others brought to Ghana and the various exploits of Alice Anuma, Hannah Freye, or any Karakari himself, and then uh, Emmanuel Tufo. All of that was lifting high the image of our nation. And we have to thank you for that, the work that you did in the past. Athletics has not been on the radar of sports administration in this country for a long time. But I'm determined to bring it back. And, uh, discussions. <laughs> Discussions that we've been having with uh, CMR and the sports authorities made it very clear that we need to bring athletics back to the center of focus of sports development in Ghana. We were, we were there at the very beginning of our life as a nation, and we can be there again. And your presence here is an indication to this generation of Ghanaians what is possible. So we have to then to grab it. I mean that uh, the contribution of Wahili Kakari about the need for us to scale up the assistance and the work supported by Manuel Tufour and Okoade, I mean that's something that I'm taking very strongly to heart. Uh, in the recent times, well, we know what it has done for Jamaica to produce all of these extraordinary athletes, what it has done for Kenya uh, and the others. He can do the same for Ghana again. I'm confident of that. And you're here as a reminder of what is possible. So we have to thank you again. The nation Ghana have to thank you again and to uh, say that uh, you're not being forgotten and you're appreciated, the work that you have done. I'm grateful that you're here.